Hey, what's up? I'm Liz. This puts the DIY, and this is a little light matrix in a cube thing. Uh, if you are not a complete nerd, um, then you may not be aware that uh, the company Teenage Engineering, probably most uh, commonly known for their pocket calculator little synthesizers, uh, they teamed up with IKEA to make. Uh, the series of stuffed stuff uh, called Freckvens. Freckvens? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So basically, uh, what it is is there's there's lights, there's Bluetooth speakers. It's all audio based because you have the speakers, you have the lights, and they're all modular, so you can like put them together or do all these things. And um, the aesthetic is very teenage engineering. It's very like minimalist, but also like industrial. It's very nice. I I, I dig it. So as I've discussed before, I like I like LEDs. I like sound reactive stuff. I, I do like music. So uh, this stuff's I, I think it's really cool. I wasn't uh, at first I wasn't going to get any because like if I wanted a sound reactive LED matrix, I could make one. I've made one before. Um, but then Teenage Engineering released all these three D printing files for the Freckven stuff, and I was like, that's cool. I like that. And I thought I could probably maybe do some stuff with it and have a time. It could be fun. It could be just fun to play with. So that's what brought us here today. Uh, but I'm not just talking about stuff you can buy. I want to know what's inside this thing. Because clearly there's a microphone, and I think, I'll show it and be real, there's a small little tiny little silvery hole. I have a feeling that's the microphone on the front there. Uh, and then I'm just curious what's uh, making it rock um, inside. Cause it's a nice cube. If we go to the back, we got a power button, off, on. And then we have the a mode button, so you have these different like display modes happening, kind of traditional stuff. Then, ooh, waveform, I like waveforms. And then there's this one too, it's a little bit more like sine wavy kind of thing, like if more for synthy kind of stuff. And then there's this. This arrow thing, I don't really, I don't really get. It was fine. Um, and some lines, lines are cool. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I like the little crazy dots. Those are fun. Um, and also, what's cool about these is you can like daisy chain them. I think it's like up to six of them. I'm sure people will do more dangerous things with them, but we'll see. Uh, so basically, I just want to see um, what's inside this. You might also want to see what's inside this, and we'll just kind of go from there. IKEA Freckvens LED Matrix Cube Teardown. Okay, so it looks like there's four screws in the corner here. So we should just be able to open this up and see what's going on. So it seems to be captive screws because they didn't come out. So. Definitely captive screws, and then it's basically feels impossible to pull out, but if I use a spudger, I'm getting a little bit of budge, but not much. Because I'm thinking it should be able to slide out, but that isn't what's happening. So there's definitely some epoxy around the corners and down the sides that I had to get loose. Uh, so that's why it was so hard to get out. But you can see the captive screw mechanism. Uh, and then there's some more screws inside. I don't know if you can see that too well. Here, from that angle, you can see them. And so basically, it looks like now we gotta get those screws out, and then we should be able to get the whole thing out. Okay, screws are out. So now. Can we just pull this out? Hmm. So this has been an incredibly um, frustrating teardown. Uh, I picked out a bunch of the silicone stuff that seemed to be working, but I just couldn't get anything to budge uh, to the point that I then Googled um, Freckman teardown and someone has been kind enough to post a guide on how to tear this thing down with step-by-step -step photos. So then I kind of got more the order of operations. 
So we took the screws out here to this plastic base, and I was trying to pry that out. I wondered if the silicone had something to do with that, so I picked all that out, which was not pleasant. Um, and then, but still wasn't getting anything to go. So apparently, uh, what's hard here is because it's all injection molded plastic, it's all black, it's hard to see where the connections begin and where the connections end, like what's one piece and what's another. Uh, so apparently these pieces here, these little corner pieces, you can pop them out. I popped two out already. Oh, hello now. Uh, and so we're gonna, the way that I approach this, use this little, little picky thing and get into the little hole that's present and then you can kind of, you can kind of um, get them to go. She said. The other two popped right out. <laughs> So, uh, basically what I'm getting for this, they really didn't want anyone to get in. Oh, see, it's swimming around a bit now, so maybe I can. Don't want you to take this apart, but I'm doing it anyway. Got it. That hit my head when it flung up. <laughs> So that's cool. And then you gotta push these things out, which is where I'm kind of glad. I pulled out all the silicon no matter how grody and awful it was. So I was able to get loose the internal kind of standoff thing, but the issue is because the wires are so short here, I really can't get it out to get a better view of the, the chips, which is really the whole point of this. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really get some great glamour shots here. I'm gonna do my best. Did... Cool. All right, so here's the PCB, nice and close. This is as best as I can do, uh, just with the nature of the housing and what's happening there. So. Essentially, there is the main white PCB. The LEDs are all soldered onto the front. Uh, and then we have these SPI LED uh, controllers. I'll put the name up on the screen because it's not one I've heard of and it's a bunch of numbers, so you'll see. Oh, we do have those pretty common it is an LM386 op amp. That's what that uh, eight pin IC is right there. The microphone is a through hole to there. I think it's interesting that they have this add-on board and they didn't just make it all part of the same PCB, but that's just me. We also have an unpopulated IC spot. Also kind of interesting. I don't know why. Uh, and then this chip here, just got some numbers on it. Um, I couldn't find anything on it. The other teardown that I found also was like, I can't identify that. I don't know what it is. And their guess is as good as mine. It could be some weird microcontroller that we don't know. Um, it could just be uh, like a serial thing that's helping to control the LED drivers. It's definitely helping to control stuff because like the op amp, that's taking in the mic signal and then this is doing something. Uh, I mean, it's, it's running it basically because um, the button is here powers here, and then there are pins going out for one second. For a latch, clock, DA, EN, so yeah, that's, it's, whatever this chip is, it's controlling the LEDs and sending the signals to the ST, to these LED controllers, so I just don't know what it is, if anyone knows. Let me know down in the comment. I'll have up on the screen the name of the chip. But now I'm gonna put this thing back together and then we'll, we'll wrap this up. So that's what's inside of IKEA Teenage Engineering Freckbend's LED matrix cube thing. Uh, so although a frustrating teardown process, 
and we didn't find anything too surprising inside. That's almost kind of good in a way because this is definitely hackable. You could definitely use your microcontroller of choice. The pinouts are labeled and you could control this LED matrix with how you want it to be. Like, and some people have already done that. Some people are displaying like MIDI data on it. Other people are doing like custom displays or they're putting in different controllers. One person did a CV input uh, in place of the microphone input. So yeah, a lot of different things. Uh, I think some people are gonna do some really cool stuff with it. Uh, I might, I'm not sure. Uh, there's other things I'm working on, but uh, I was just, I was curious. Uh, and hopefully if you're curious, this answers some of your questions. And yeah, uh, if anything, I think it's kind of cool that Teenage Engineering and Ikea like teamed up and made these things. Like, You don't really see this stuff out in the wild too much. So that in general is cool. And then the fact that you could hack it for your own needs, also cool. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. Uh, I'll leave links in the description, some of the hacks that have been done. Uh, also, Teenage Engineering has been posting them up on their Instagram, if you're into that. Also, uh, consider subscribing for more content like this. I, I love a good teardown. <laughs> and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.